I think that there are definitely people in the United States and uh, in uh, among Israeli regime officials that would like to escalate. But I think that there are many reasons why the why Washington and Tel Aviv, well, Washington, let's say, would be cautious. Uh, first and foremost is the fact that uh, the Palestinians have allies across the region. They have allies in Yemen. They have allies in Lebanon, in Syria, Iraq, and of course, Iran. Uh, so any escalation would make American troops very vulnerable in Iraq in particular. And if American troops are driven out of Iraq, they will definitely be driven out of Syria. And if American troops are driven out, I assume the Americans will be driven out altogether from Iraq. So if there is an escalation, I think that uh, the Americans are extremely vulnerable. But also, I think that the Americans and Europeans are deeply concerned about unrest in Arab countries across the region because uh, things are boiling and uh, it could get out of control. And ultimately, uh, there is the Persian Gulf. And that is that if there is some sort of direct conflict between the United States and Iran, uh, Iran will not hesitate to take out American positions in the Persian Gulf and those countries that facilitate an American military presence, they will definitely be targets. And therefore, I think that would simply destroy the global economy. So I think the Americans uh, have a number of reasons to be very cautious. Iran doesn't see the Israeli regime as a threat. Iran's much more powerful. It has the ability to uh, cause much greater harm to the Israeli regime. Uh, the real threat to Iran has always been the United States, and it continues to be a threat. If the United States chooses to get into direct conflict with Iran, that would be a very serious matter, and uh, it would have, I think, devastating consequences for the world. But for Iran, Israel is not really uh, an important adversary when it comes to its military capabilities. Well, what I what I can say is that in Yemen, the government today is much stronger than it was before. And since there is peace, or at least a no war, no peace situation between Yemen and Saudi Arabia. They've been building their military capabilities. The same is true in Hezbollah. The same is true in Syria and Iraq. And of course, the same is true with Iran. If we are to take Western media uh, seriously, then Iranian drone and missile capabilities are highly sophisticated. And any conflict in the Persian Gulf would mean that those drone and missile capabilities will be used extensively. And we do know that Iran has uh, many underground cities uh, where their uh, military capability is protected. If, if there is conflict between the United States and Iran, if the United States carries out an attack, the Americans have a bases in Qatar, in the Emirates, and across the Persian Gulf region, and in Iraq. For Iran, that would mean that, that not only are those bases legitimate targets, but those countries that host the U.S. bases are therefore uh, legitimate, legitimate targets. And so if there is conflict, then I think it's fair to say that uh, the global economy will be destroyed. Thank you. Again, it's not a situation where anyone wins. It's a situation where everyone loses.